Yo, welcome back to Project Jira. This is Rishav here with another marathon number two video. This, uh, for conciseness sake and brevity, or just say it's a continuation. So episode 63 or 62, really. And in this particular video, we're going to be covering a lot of, well, it's only going to be, let's be honest, this video is probably going to be about maybe 10 to 15 minutes long, but uh, this recording excerpt is only going to be hopefully about three, three to five minutes. So it's gonna be really, really short this time that I'm gonna spend talking right here. That's because I want to snip, snip. I want to attach this onto a bunch of other clips that have to do with audio testing with this mic right here. Um, in the backdrop, if I can just remove the scene very quickly, you can see right here. So this mic, uh, the gain was too high at one point, and uh, also there was some troubleshooting with some nested scenes. Um, so that's what we wanna cover. But before we get to that, um, no, actually not before we get to that. That's something we're not going to cover. The point is we had a bunch of clips. We were testing a mic. We would test one, two, check one, two, um, because we were trying to troubleshoot the really loud and reverb, uh, from our audio. So we're just going to basically create a blooper reel. Sorry for the stutter there, but a bunch of blooper reels, you know, it's a little bit comedic, uh, to a sense. I mean, I don't know if it's particularly funny. I just knew that, for example, I want to get rid of a bunch of files that were all stitched together, that were all splintered across my folder. 15, I think, to be exact, different files all relate to audio testing. So I just want to put it all together, and I'm going to put this video with it, since this one will, co will contain a lot about audio as well. So what do we want to talk about in this video uh, for the next, you know, three to five minutes about audio? So you see on this left hand, right hand, my left, your right, the right hand side over here, you can see the little display. This is from, let me see if I can hop over to his, to this account. Uh, browser here, how to set up multiple audio sources in OBS Studio, uh, separate audio tracks, and it's from, oh my god, it's Derek Tech. OMG, it's Derek Tech. Um, I don't know him specifically on his channel. This is the first time I've seen it. And how I got here was just from, uh, actually, there was a previous tab here from Gaming, oh, that's not, that's a skit. Sorry, we'll cover that in the future. But uh, it, there was a tab here. I opened it aside, and uh, it's not responding now because it's being a dick. Oh, come on. What's going on? Uh, what's going on? Tab's not responding. Okay. <laughs> that talks up forever. Okay, I have to edit that out maybe. Um, the point is basically there's some issues um, with trying to split out our audio sources and we hopped over here and why is it lagging so bad? Um, but basically, oh, this polythia. Fuck. Oh, forget it. Let me remove this. All right, this time we're trying without the pop filter. Um, just bare bones. It is a little further away than it usually is for me. It's probably about 10 centimeters from my mouth. So, test, test, testing. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Try again. Testing one, two. We want to see if there's a music capture and whether or not there's my voice being captured. All right. The previous recording, the pop filter was not there, but I realized that for some reason the gain was too low. It was almost next to the lowest. So we're going to try this again. Again, we're going to make sure that we are speaking to the side of the mic instead of directly towards it. And uh, let's see how we perform this time. So testing one, two, check it, check it, check it, check it, test one, two, check. Test one, two, we want to test if right now four sources can be working. Um, wait, what the hell? <laughs> okay, first of all, is it capturing the sound that's coming from my headphones, which is linked up to Spotify? So that's two. Three, when I speak into the hyper quadcast, so my vocals with the mic, that's, oh, that's two and then three. Four is if we go to the website right now, we go over to Twitch. Let's say we turn on the volume. We'll I will send you to Jesus. Jesus. Okay. And now we end this recording to see whether or not it's. Test one, two, test one, two, keep it running. Let's go. Check it, check it, check one, test one, two. Listen, um. We're going to do something a little more extra. We're going to try the pop filter and see if that helps even more so because uh, 
Sure, we turned on the gain, but the bad news is that we turned on the gain, it's a lot more quiet. So right now we're speaking at a slightly louder volume, and we have the pop filter in front. Okay, we're going to try this again. This time the pop filter is directly in front, and uh, we're speaking definitely louder this time, a little feeling a little more natural. But um, I am concerned that the pop filter is going to get in the way of um, a lot of the volume. So testing, testing, testing. Let's try this again one more time. Let's start. One, two, three, four, three, four, two, one, one, two, three, four, four, two. Testing, testing. We're running this again. It seems like the issue might have been because, and I believe it is, uh, pretty confident in this, is that because we had nested scenes with the audio input and output inside another nested scene that was included in a greater scene, um, particularly the interactive media group having nested scenes of audio input and output, and then we also include the uh, other nested scene with the input and output as well. We may have had roughly like two or three different running um, session captures of the same mic. So we're going to see right now if uh, we have muted or disabled, made inactive um, one of the nested scenes, how it will sound now. All right, let's try this again. I think I know what happened. Uh, in addition to having multiple instances of the source running for the mic, I just realized that the mic here is, uh, or was, I just adjusted and I was at maximum gain. So there are five circles from smallest to largest and it was past the largest circle. So let's see how this sounds. All right, let's try this time. So the mic is now roughly about one foot away from my mouth. And honestly speaking, if it put distance, I don't think it makes a difference in terms of making the reverb and the echo and the grainy sound go away. All this does is really lower or dampen the volume in my perspective. But we're going to try it and see how it plays out right now. And uh, yeah, let's try this again. Test one, two, test one, two. We want to see exactly what's going on. Why is the mic sounding so bad? Like it sounds whole, sounds awful and I don't know what's going on. So uh, let's try that out. Um, you know what? Something else we'll try. We'll add a pop filter on the top, see if that makes any difference. So let's put a pop filter. All right. Okay. Test one, two, test one, two, see if this does any better. Okay, this is the best way. We're just gonna keep counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 20. All right, in one, two, three, press the button. One, two, three, stop. Three, four, five, six. Test one, two. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. So if I go, oh, it's running now. Yo, how will I go here? Scenes. Oh, and there's nothing here, it's just intermission. Right back. Talking. And this is actually.
If I can stop. Test one, two, stop. Test one, two, stop. You'll be floating.